Hi, welcome to Psychologies Magazine. I'm Nikki Peterson, a Barefoot trained coach and partnerships director at Psychologies Magazine. I'm also creator of the How to Navigate Loss coaching programme. In this short coaching video, you'll learn what loss is and the difference between the death of a person as well as living, lo li living losses and ways in which you can support yourself through grief. This is the first video of four. And to watch all four videos, you, you can subscribe to Psychologies Magazine, which gives you access to the full course, as well as weekly uh, journal workbooks for in-depth coaching. You can subscribe via the link in this video's caption, or if you're already a subscriber, head to the Life Leap page on the Psychologies website and you can register or sign in. So onto the course. When most of us think of grief, we, we generally associate it with the, uh, the death of somebody. But grief also uh, comes from living losses, such as the jobs that we valued and lost, relationships that haven't worked out, the place we once called home, uh, the financial security that we once had and lost. And this course will look at the different types of grief and how you can recognise it. So I've curated this course at a time when many of us are experiencing grief um, and loss, possibly the death of somebody that we know. And I'm sure that many of us will know of somebody that has died from COVID-19. And there's lots of us that will be experiencing living losses as a result of the global pandemic. We've lost the freedom to do what we want, when we want, with who we want, how we want and um, and where we want. So how do you even know if you're grieving? Because some of us are actually grieving without, without even knowing that. Um, grief is invisible. You, you can feel it, but you, you certainly can't see it. And, and living losses are, are, as I say, are often not even recognised as grief. Yet yeah, it's the same process as as losing somebody that that we love. It's those same feelings. It's that numbness, the chaos. Um, you might feel angry or scared. Your heart's tight. Your chest is tight, and there might be this huge barrier between you and the rest of the world. Does this resonate with with any of your feelings, uh, either since loss, lockdown or? anything else that is that's going on in your life right now um i'll share an experience of loss with you i had a baby girl in in 2006 um she was born too early to survive i went into premature labor at, at 23 and a half weeks and it was absolutely horrendous um I certainly felt all those feelings that, that I've just mentioned. And and when I think back to, to how my husband and I dealt with the death of our baby daughter, we grieved so differently, yet our loss was absolutely the same. I would, you know, maybe book a massage and, and sometimes whilst enjoying the pleasure of my feet being rubbed, I'd also cry at the same time. Um, I remember my husband watching the snooker um, and he didn't even like snooker, but it was just that zoning out. And I now realise that 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 was actually a, a very much needed part of our loss. We were we were in a, a restoration phase, um, and we were actually allowing ourselves some self compassion. So, if any of this is resonating with you, how can you give yourself some self compassion during during this time of grief that you're experiencing? Um, you know, I, I know that our emotions were absolutely all over the place. You know, we were shocked, we were numb, we were sad, anxious, agitated. Um, we certainly weren't, but some people can be relieved through the, the death of a person. Some people can feel guilt, um, calm, lacking in purpose, resentful. And all of these emotions are absolutely perfectly normal they're all okay to feel these feelings just like everyone's experience of of grief is unique so is the way in which that we express it there is no right and wrong way um 
not one single person is is immune from grief um use the use the workbook to to coincide with this this coaching video to to identify how you can express your emotions through grief because if we're unable to express our emotions that's when we might create some self-damaging habits and that's generally to numb the pain but we, we actually end up causing ourselves more harm um what friends or family might you be able to to call upon to support you during this tough and really difficult time um or is there anybody outside of your family and friendship group any local support groups that might be able to help you use the workbooks as i say to coincide with this video um you'll you'll see my details in the 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 workbooks if you need help if you need a therapist log on to psychologist.co.uk there's a find a therapist functionality there's a find a coach therapy um i'll be back for another um another three videos to help you support this difficult time um but if you really need somebody do reach out take care and i shall see you in video two